Well, good morning, everybody. Dr. Carmen Bryant, Kirk Chronicles. How you doing? You ready? Allow me to say this. What that narcissist has done to you, or maybe still doing to you, um, causes anger, causes regret, causes rage. Um, a lot of you are operating in, in bitterness and unforgiveness and rage and you know, and, and you have the right to be angry. It's not right what they have done. And it seems like they always get away with it, which they don't. But it seems like they because bitterness breeds bitterness. And, you know, what is it? Uh, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. Or you live by the sword, you die by the sword. You know, and I, and I understand a lot of you may not be Bible scholars. And I understand that, you know, everybody doesn't believe in God. But one thing that I do know the Bible says is that do not be fooled. God will not be mocked. So what a man so that is what they're going to reap. You reap what you sow. That's where it comes from. You reap what you sow. And believe you me, some of you guys believe in karma, what comes around goes around. That's that's where it stems from. That's where it comes from. Uh, but do know that um, your unforgiveness, your bitterness, and your anger has effects on you physiologically. If you study the human body, you know, bitterness and anger and rage, it starts to eat you from the inside out. It begins to tear you down from the inside out. That narcissist has made a deposit in your soul. It was a poison deposit in your soul. And they come back from time to time to see if you are being destroyed from the inside out. It's like the Komodo dragon, I think it is. They have that bacteria in their saliva. And all they have to do, they're not fast runners, but all they have to do is bite an animal and that animal runs but all they do is follow the trail because eventually that bacteria is going to kill that animal from the inside out and that's the same thing with the narcissist they bite they deposit you know and and you're struggling with the bitter and the bitterness and the unforgiveness does forgiveness mean that you have to go back and and be friends or or uh, uh, be friendly or be with them. No, no, it does not. Uh, forgiveness doesn't even mean that you uh, agree with what they've done. You know, forgiveness is the key that unlocks you from the cage because they're long gone. Some of them are dead. Some of them are in other relationships. Some of them not even thinking about you. Some of them not hoovering you whatsoever. But here you are struggling with a deposit in your life and you have, have held yourself hostage in a cage to forgive and to move on does not mean that you forget because to forget means you have amnesia. But to forgive means that now I'm going to move on with my life. And the thing that torments them the most is when they check and you're actually happy when you check and, and you forgive them. But I don't have anything to do with you. You know, I love you from a distance or I don't have anything to do with you. There is no friendship. There is no ha ha kiki kaka. You know, but that that unforgiveness, that is the key that's holding you inside of that cage. And I know some of you say I'll never forgive. What you're saying is I'll never come out the cage. Go to part two. All right, this is part two. Uh, Dr. Carmen Bryant, Car Chronicles, and this is Narcissist Making Deposits in Your Soul. Um, so hopefully you watch part one. You got to go watch part one first. I understand for many of you guys, you know, forgiveness. What do you mean forgiveness? Uh, how can you forgive someone that keeps doing the same things over and over and over again? I get it because you can forgive them today, but tomorrow, you know, they're going to do the same thing again. A narcissist is a narcissist is a narcissist. You know, some of you guys have puppies, you know, little dogs, you know, uh, um, furry uh, family members. Uh, and they bite your cords and bite your shoes and knock over stuff and tear up your pillows and stuff. But you forgive them. Now, I understand that's a pet, but you have the capacity of forgiving them because they're animals. That's their nature, right? Well, a narcissist is a narcissist is a narcissist is a narcissist and tigers don't change their stripes. And I'm not saying you forgive them and then you bring them back into your home because that's a mistake a lot of people make. And then that narcissist also makes you feel guilty about you never forgive me. You know, you're supposed to forgive and you're supposed to forget. Forget is a amnesia. We don't forget anything. But then they try to hold you. They take forgiveness and they take it the wrong way. No, what they're telling you is, is that you're supposed to let it go and let me do what I want to do. And you're supposed to stay where you're at. That's not forgiveness. But unforgiveness and bitterness tears you up from the inside out. Forgiveness and bitterness and anger and rage starts to make you sick. It starts to tear up the inside. You guys, I, I tell you guys all the time, I was in it for 22 years, unfortunately. And that bitterness and that anger and that unforgiveness started tearing me up from the inside out. I have a big heart, a compassionate heart. I'm going to protect it. But at the same time, trying to go out there and help people, the residue or, or, you know, the residuals from what has happened in my life comes out. And I know that I could, I, at that time, I was just mean. 
just a mean individual. I'm trying to help, but at the same time, you know, if I get triggered, I was going to lash out. I was going to hook you up, you know, and I had to learn to forgive. And forgive does not mean that we were going to be friends. You guys have to see it that way. You got to un uncage yourself, unlock yourself from the cage. That's poison that they put in you. And you walking around with unforgiveness, they are who they are. That does not mean you have to reconnect. And I know that some of them have done some horrific, horrific things. One of the beautiful queens that came to my conference in Atlanta said that that narcissist killed her sister and, and the family or, or the brother-in-law. You know, imagine, how do you walk around with that in your mind that you, you murdered my family? And how am I supposed to forgive you? Forgiveness doesn't mean that you have to reconnect with that person. Forgiveness means I'm going to live my best life. I'm a, I, I refuse to allow you to have me walking around here bitter and angry and tearing up my own. I can't even enjoy life because I'm thinking about all the things that you've done. You go be your little miserable self, but I'm going to be in forgiveness. You got to forgive. Get help.